हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो दिस इज आवर सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर टू इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट मैटर प्योर एंड इम्प्योर सब्सटेंस एलिमेंट कंपाउंड्स In our this video, we are going to study about impure substances. What are impure substances? Those substances which are made up of more than one substance, more than one element, or more than one compound, are known as impure substances. impure substances example is a mixture mixtures are basically of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous as you can see it in the diagram composition is same throughout means if you take a sugar and water solution you will find that throughout the water the sweetness is same but in case of heterogeneous mixtures it has a non uniform or different composition so now let us study all these things in detail what's a mixture a mixture contains more than one substance element or compound in any ratio mixture can be separated by physical method you can separate mixture how you can separate mixtures if you have a mixture of iron nail and sulfur powder you can separate with the help of magnet iron nail will stick in magnet you can separate by sieving you can you can separate two mixture of two substance by filtration method so so many methods are there okay so mixture it will show the property of constituent substance like see if we see the compound compound mein kya padha tha humne that the composition is same throughout okay composition is same it cannot be separated by physical means wahi mixture mein kya hum dekh rahe hain ki it can be separated by physical means and it shows the property of it constituent substance like see if you take if you take sugar water or salt water solution you will see either the water is sweet or either the water is salty that means it is showing the constituent of the substance clear now what is homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture is a mixture which is same composition throughout it has a uniform composition example sugar dissolved in water copper sulfate dissolved in water okay heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture they have different composition or non uniform composition means they do not have a uniform composition and its each comp remain separated okay and they can be observed as individual component like oil and water iron nail or iron fillings and sulfur powder they both can be seen oil and water you can see so similarly our atmosphere is also a mixture of gases you know very well we have 21% oxygen 78% nitrogen and 1% other gases so mixture means it can be homogeneous heterogeneous it can be uniform it can be non uniform throughout okay now based on nature of particles what type of particles are present in mixture mixture is classified into four categories solution suspension emulsion and colloids or colloidal solution so solution is made up of solute and solvent solute is less solvent is more okay suspension is a mixture of solid in solvent solvent means something in liquid maybe emulsion is a mixture of two liquids colloids is a property of solution as well as suspension so let us see all these things in detail solution is a homogeneous mixture solution is made up of solute and solvent 
Salute is present in small quantity. Like if we take salt water, so salt is a salute in salt solution. Okay, and solvent is a substance present in large quantity is a solvent. Like water is a solvent in salt water solution. So salute and solvent mix together and form a solution. Okay, salute dissolves while solvent does the dissolving. Solvent ghulne ka kaam karta hai aur salute ghul jata hai. Clear? The second one, suspension. You can see a very beautiful diagram here. Water, sand and here the suspension. If you take sand or sand grains and add water in it, you will see the sand particles will settle down. And water will remain suspended. Okay, so suspension is was heterogeneous. Why heterogeneous? You can see the composition. You can see both the things differently. Okay, so solid particle, it does not dissolve. Okay, even the particles of suspension, they do not pass through the filter paper. You can see it with the visible eyes. Okay, the particles are visible. Okay, suspension is opaque to light. Suspension is not transparent. Okay, particles of suspension may settle down due to gravity. Because of the gravity, they settle down. Okay, and their particle size is greater than 1000 nanometer. Okay, this is one of the very important factor which you should know, which you, which you should learn. Especially for your NTSC exams, you should know the particle size and the characteristics of all, three, all these four types of mixtures. Okay, the next one is emulsion. Emulsion, very easy. It's a mixture of two liquids which do not mix. Example, oil and water is an example of emulsion. Now the next part of the mixture, the next example of mixture is colloids. So colloids, as I already said, it's a mixture between solution and suspension. So the solution in which particle size is between 1 nanometer and 1000 nanometer are the part of your colloids. Clear? Colloid solution are heterogeneous. They can pass through filter paper. Colloid basically has two parts. That is dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Colloids show Tyndall effect and Brownian movement. This Tyndall effect and Brownian movement we are going to study later on in this video itself. So now let us see what are dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Now dispersed phase is when the colloidal particles are distributed in solvent, it is known as dispersed phase. Like you see the example of milk, milk is a colloid. In milk you have fats, proteins, lactose etc. They are the dispersed phase. While water is the dispersion medium. Okay. This table is one of the very important table where you will come to know the dispersed phase dispersion medium, the types of colloidal solution and their example. This will help you in NTSC preparation. Now comes Tyndall effect. Have you ever seen a beam of light when you visit a theater? You can see a beam of light thrown on the screen and the path is clear where you can see the dust particles scattered in the light that is one of the example of Tyndall effect also you can see Tyndall effect when light is coming or visible through the trees in the forest means light is scattering scattering by the dust particles the dust particles are colloidal particles in the atmosphere also you can see during fog, during smoke, the moment the headlight of your vehicle, you can see the path or the track clearly. Tyndall effect can be demonstrated in the lab. This is the source of light. It's a true solution. 
you will not observe any kind of cone here but the moment this solution passes here what will happen the path of the light is clear the path is clear means this formation of cone by this colloidal particle is known as tyndall cone the next is brownian movement what is brownian movement it is a zigzag manner means dust particles they move zigzag manner okay so this random motion of colloidal particles or the dust particles moving in a zigzag path is known as brownian movement it was discovered by a scientist named known as brownian so hence it is known as brownian movement okay now what about alloys okay here you can see a bronze coin and a pot so alloys alloys are homogeneous mixture mixtures of what metals and they cannot be separated by any physical method example are bronze and brass there are many alloys which we use in our daily life please make a list of alloys and keep it with yourself for your general knowledge so now this we have studied about some homogeneous as well as heterogeneous mixture the best part of my videos are that you get a written notes with proper explanation along with the diagrams so you can pause the video and then you can copy the notes and then in case you are having any doubt or any problem or any confusion you can directly message me in comment section also if you have any problem in understanding what you should do is keep on watching the video again and again clear i hope you must have understood the impure substance that is the mixture the types of mixture their categories their examples their particle size these are one of the important few of the important things which are asked in your N ntsc or any other competitive exams so my dear if you have liked the video then please keep on watching it keep on reading from your textbook learn write chemistry is incomplete without writing keep on revising stay happy stay positive and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you are update updated with the new and the latest videos thank you and have a nice day